7 Types of Assignments in Online Courses Types of Assignments Online learning is a new frontier since most students are used to physical classes with paper assignments. Due to the distance involved, online assignments may be slightly different to gauge the student's understanding of course content. As such, you need to be familiar with 1. Reflections or journals, it is important for students to reflect on what they have learned and why it is important. This is done by journaling and can help you express your ideas and any other queries you may have about the course. These posts are later reviewed by the instructor since they offer insight into how well the course was taught. 2. Reports Your major may require you to conduct field studies on different topics, such as the weather or society. This is especially true for technical subjects and helps students develop skills to handle certain processes. The findings are then compiled in a report and analyzed, after which you can present this to your class. 3. Research paper Writing research papers allows you to demonstrate your knowledge of particular concepts, hence it is a tried and true assignment format for higher education. However, there is little difference in how online and physical classes handle these papers. Just like in a physical class, your instructor will provide you with a prompt and you will complete the essay and send it through email or upload it to the LMS. 4. Discussion Boards To aid in discussions and help students interact and learn from each other, learners are required to contribute to discussions on various topics covered in class. For example, the professor may post a query, which you will discuss with the class. You might be graded on how well you can answer the question by relating it to certain theories taught in class. We have a detailed guide on how to write a good discussion board post. 5. Exams Just like in normal classes, you will have exams to prove that you have acquired the necessary skills to move to the next level. Most online learning platforms have proctoring systems in place to reduce cheating and uphold academic integrity. On the other hand, some platforms may allow open book exams. 6. Literature Review Every course has key readings that impart conceptual knowledge to students, and you will likely be required to study one or more of them and present the theories and information from these sources. An effective literature review contains three parts, introduction offers background information on the topic, body, discusses the source and the concepts discussed, conclusion, recommendations of what could be included or changed in the future to improve the contents. 7. Case study. While it is popular in fields such as social sciences compared to others, the case study assignment helps learners relate theories learned to real-life situations, thus improving their analytical skills. However, getting to this point is not easy as there may be many dependent factors that influence the situation, so you need to assess all factors. This is what makes the case study a worthy assignment, it requires in-depth research and analysis, if you are looking to learn a particular skill and have no idea which course to select, check out our guide on how to choose the best online course, as a learner, you may not be familiar with all these types of assignments in online courses, so feel free to place an order with us for expert help. What do good online assignments contain? Online assignments differ from those offered in physical classes. Due to the medium in which e-learning is conducted, the parameters for quality slightly differ, hence their assignments should have the following qualities, 1. Thought-provoking, 2. A clear motive, 3. Direct criteria for assessment, 4. Clear instructions, 5. Varied, 6. Easily accessible, 7. Relevant to the course content, 8. Utilize the internet as a learning environment. These are integral since they contribute to your skill set, so they directly determine your expertise. 5 tips you help you pass every online course assignment. Now that you know what to expect with regard to assignments, the only obstacle left in your way is acing them. Each of these assignments has marks attached to them, hence failing one will drag your final grade down or possibly delay your graduation. To avoid failing any of the different types of assignments in online courses you can adopt the following tips. 1. Have a schedule. At this point, this tip has become a cliché, 
but the benefits of a good schedule can't be beaten. Having a schedule allows you to form a habit, which then translates to a smoother time learning and handling the various types of assignments in online courses. Additionally, it will allow you enough time to rest and unwind since you won't procrastinate and rush at the last minute, too. Visualize your future, most students get caught up in the academic struggles they face momentarily, giving up on making an effort. For example, you may be having trouble with a certain topic, so you need to keep studying and staying motivated. This can be done by imagining what you can achieve once you complete the course, such as the nice job you will secure. 3. Reach out to peers and instructors to help you stay motivated, communicate with your peers and instructors often to ask for clarification and different approaches to problems. Participating in discussions and inquiring can help enhance your perspective on various topics and will help you ace all the types of assignments in online courses you will handle. This can be done using the chat function on various LMS platforms, email, Zoom, and other social media platforms. 4. Cultivate discipline. Discipline is very hard to master, especially when one is not in a controlled environment such as a classroom. This may be due to fatigue or low motivation and can cost you your academic future. However, discipline is a habit that you cultivate over time, starting with seemingly insignificant actions. 5. Use online resources. Studying at home means that you have no access to the school's library. This can negatively impact your studies as you may want certain data. While e-textbooks are common, not all physical books have been converted to this format, hence students will have to seek out options. For these reasons, you can check out online repositories that offer PDFs of certain books. Some charge fees, while others are free, depending on the source and rarity of the book. This can allow you to gain extra knowledge for your course, so do not neglect to perform research on where to access these resources. For a more detailed guide on parsing an online class, you can check out our article on how to pass your online course. However, these tips are not foolproof, so you can place your trust in our tutors, who can handle your coursework and guarantee you a parsing grade.